We're here guys. We finally made it to our destination. We are in Las Vegas. We are now checking into our hotel at the Hampton Inn Suites. We're gonna go ahead and unload, get situated, and then if I don't show you tonight, I'll show you tomorrow the rooms. And we're gonna have us a good night because I'm tired. No, 324 is in the yard. Hmm, so at the very end. Oh, right here. Right. Oh, okay. And then that there's... They're already walking by. They have to walk by our room. Okay, and where's... Where, where room is theirs? 312. You can go down over there. 312 And then the kids' room will be a little further down. I am not okay with this at all. But like Anthony said, he booked third party, so they could not amend his reservation. Come on in. He just said, come on in. Here, I hold this the door open. So this is... Okay, honey, we're gonna get something in here. As we were coming upstairs, I noticed they had balloons. It said first year anniversary. So the hotel's a year old and it smells very brand new. I mean, new, new. And I like that because I want to experience a hotel that has not been run down or in its worst condition ever. So I'm excited about that. So let's go in here. This is a two queen bedroom suite, 436 square foot. The I love the floors. This is carpet, of course, but I love the aesthetic. The gray is a very neutral tone, not too loud, not too bright. Um, and over here we have a desk with a drawer. I like how minimalistic the entertainment system is. It fits perfectly in this room. It's the perfect size. The good thing also is that they provided us a microwave because at the Hollycoa Hotel, we had to go down the hallway to warm our food up and that was a big inconvenience, but we managed to make it work. They also gave us, and we also have a coffee, coffee station. Okay, hold on, honey. A coffee station and a mini fridge. So that's nice. You know, not too big, but just perfect. We're only staying here for two days and the drawers are not as deep, but if you need to stow away anything, you can place them there. And then your computer workstation, a desk lamp, it has an outlet, and a nice little <laughs> 70 style chair. I'm not mad at it. Now, our view, of course, you really can't see it, but we are at the intersection of Sierra Vista and University Center. The AC blows out cold air, so it's very comfortable in here. And then you have your night, uh, your, your uh, and then over here you have your center table, telephone clock, alarm, so forth and so on. And then your thermostat is right there to control. The closet is a very decent size, enough to fit maybe three or four suitcases inside. They have a safe box, an iron ironing board, and a and some coat hangers and a nice vanity style mirror from top to bottom. And here's the bathroom. So the bathroom has a very nice vanity sink. And, they, and, and throw it in the bathroom. Yes, a lighted mirror. Uh, and I would say, okay, this is the hair dryer here. I would like for them to have more towels, but they gave us two, a hand towel here. And I think there's an extra one in there. This might be the bath mat, I'm not sure. And then the shower tub combo. I like the shower head. Now, one thing that's a little odd is having the shower control of, I can't, I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now, but anyway, to turn on the shower, it's on the opposite side of where it normally would be, which would be right above this nozzle, but hey, who cares? And shower gel and shampoo dispenser, you just have to press it and it will dispense. And a handicap bar if necessary. Good morning. It's the next day. We're getting ready to go down and get breakfast before we start our adventure. So we are gonna leave here at 10 to go to the Hoover Dam. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I can't remember the other two places. One of them was area 15. Mm -hmm. And. Anyway, I forgot. I'm sure I'll tell you guys when we get in the car and get on the road. 
Um, but breakfast here is complimentary. Slept good last night. That's comfortable. Uh, overall, very nice, very nice day. <sighs> we check out tomorrow, so. So this is where the breakfast is, buffet style. And let's see what they have. Um, bagels, toast, hot water, coffee, cereals over there, drink station, and let me see, eggs, potatoes. So yeah, you all know what you're gonna get. So I got mini pancakes. This is my little creation over here. And then the girls and their pancakes. They put strawberry toppings and whipped cream on it, huh? Yes, I'm gonna get you silverware, okay? Right now we are at Beautiful Lake Mead. We stopped here for a nice breathtaking view before we get to the Hoover Dam. This is the first time I've ever seen it, this, but this is the second time we've been at the dam. See the white line and the dark brown line on that? That white line, very tight, that's where the water line used to be. So you see how far it's dropped down. Then the water's drying up. That's why. It's at, uh, Oh, look at that. Look at the, is that a chipmunk? You see it? Yeah. Oh, so cute little fella. I don't know if this is a, uh, right there. Look at all that trash. Lane. There goes another one. There's two of them. See that one? Yeah, right there. Squirrel. That's not a squirrel. That's this a squirrel. is a miniature squirrel. Look at no, them. They're all over. I've never seen them before. They're all over. Okay. So yeah, this is Lake Mead. And, uh, apparently there's a water shortage and it's been this way for about 22 years. So there, it's a constant concern of drought. But um, I didn't know they had, you know, boats and reservoirs out here uh, for people to go out and take a trip out on the lake. But it's really nice up here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Anthony said there was a point where they were closed down, but as you can tell, there's plenty of boats out here. When we were here in 2014 hold on one second son we did not take advantage of what the dam has to offer so we're going to do that today now the difference between our visit our last visit and today's visit is that we're going to pretty much walk the dam from one end to the other and then we're also going to take a look at the water sh shortage you'll see what i'm talking about when i go down to the part where you can see the different color uh colorations of the rocks so that's the beginning of the hoover dam where we entered from and then we are going to pretty much follow the route where the cars are however we're going the opposite direction so we're going to start up here and make our way down and then walk all the way to the front kids are pretty hot they look tired you know they don't love adventure like the parents but you all no, will no soon fair. be thankful for this no when fair. you get older no, no we're not no you're ready to get home you all are just children teenagers Typical. And then Hubby Cakes over here is getting his camera together because we're going to take some absolute professional, beautiful photos. Try. Okay, you're right because I'm, I'm good at that. And then his eye is just playing in rocks. Right? Because that's what we do as four year olds. Yeah. Because I'm four. Okay, because you're four. All right, we have to get your mask too, son. Mom, look, I'll play the rocks. Oh, no, I see the rocks, son. This is where. 
you can tell from pretty much where the water has subsided or decreased see the white lines so over the years you know once upon a time it used to be a lot higher but those are the power generators right there they're not doing tours due to covid so unfortunately we can't go down in the dam to look at them they were nice though we've done it before but it was a very interesting experience to say the least so i hope one day they will open it back up for tourists to view and just get a lot of information about the dam the only tours that the dam is offering is i think uh self-guided and you can still watch a video of how the dam was built and that's pretty much it but they're not doing tours inside so very unfortunate how deep do you think the water is i have no idea i don't know it's pretty deep though you you can jump in and find out if you want to take a swim i'm not a diver <laughs> yep oh yeah so look there's a better view so where there was white there was water no longer the cat case in this situation so <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I would I would love to find out. What do you think that is, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Would Possibly you know? A, a tunnel for water. Is my, no, my, it looks like this might, be an might have a yeah, might have a it might be an equalizer for both sides, but for some reason it's too much pressure against that. They'll open up and help. So, so you are you saying at one point it used to be water up this high too? I don't think so. Yeah, huh? Mom, oh, look at the wall. Yeah, at one point, yeah, water used to be this is covered. Wow. This is covered. But I think that's a shaft mm -hmm. for if for some reason there's too much pressure on one side and need to herb and equalize it, you can open up this and it shoots the, the water off the side there. of the mountain. Because they have a, uh, if you look on the other side of the mountain, they have a big old opening. I don't think. Come on, you can see it on the wall. There used to be water up there. I can't tell. Right, just look at the thing. Yeah, look at the rocks. Like you said. Mm. Look at the side of the wall. Yeah, I can see that, but I don't it's right. crazy to believe that. Once upon a time, there used to be water this high. So yeah, the water is very low. I love the generator, so that's just the engineering behind that. Was this the side that had the most water and that's the side that had the less? Well, I'm sure it this equaled side. out. No, no. Huh? No. What happened? This side this had side the had highest the water. Yeah. The other oh. side is way, way low. Okay, you're right. I could way see low. the two. No, that's what we were saying. Okay. Okay. Well, actually I was looking at the you know the wall over there that, that was a dead giveaway but i didn't see that over there so yeah that would make sense huh yeah 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 <laughs> not, not you. Gonna, so you want to drive over there instead yeah huh? okay it's, it is kind of hot all right we're going to drive what you in right now is what you're in <laughs> i don't want to be sweaty already after the first all right son you ready for this what? back up the stairs yeah what It's actually, it is very hot today. It's, I mean, so hot. <laughs> so hot, it makes you not even want to be out here. Nah, that ain't Florida hot, but it is hot. No, it's not Hawaii I hot. I would, I would jog this. Huh? I, would, I, would jog. I mean, yeah, it'll be a nice place. To, yeah, you are, but it'll be a nice environment to jog in. <laughs> but we parked uh, in the parking garage so we can come and look at the, the dam from this angle. No, it wasn't. Because when they went down, it turned off. Well, we could have been there already, guys, taking the stairs. I guess I'll meet you all down. Come on, guys. You did it. Woo. Up top. Down low. Give me some fin. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> okay. Now we have to wait on the slow pokes. Where are they? It's definitely a culture shock situation for me. A lot, you know, it's not mandated that people wear masks here. Hi. <laughs> so, however, we are taking all the precautions. Okay, you all want to? You want to? What do you all want to do right now? Get ice cream and this heat. We'll do it on the way out. We can get some water or something. 
Let's get some water from there. Holy oh, smoke, we walked across the street. So, where, do you thought we were, where do you think we were gonna go? <laughs> to the, maybe the halfway point? <laughs> I mean, we don't have to go all the way around. We can go okay. to one of the generators and come back. Okay. But paying $10 to park, we might as well get the full experience. I got a feeling we're gonna probably end up having to maybe stop out of room then. <laughs> Why? So we can change, freshen up. Oh, okay. Because uh, we still gotta go to the indoor thing and then. What's the name of it? Where's, where are we going next? Uh, climb Vegas. Climb Vegas. Okay, Climb Vegas. Climb Vegas. Okay. So yeah, like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, self-guided tours are only 10 bucks to include parking. You have to pay for parking too. So $10 for a 20 minute movie guide, narrated exhibits, observe, observation deck, and then visit the original building, but no power plant or dam tours. sculptures are so pretty um i don't know the meaning behind it so but i could take a look around for you guys whoa <laughs> somebody put that there Say that we were gonna walk that bridge, but uh, <laughs> today we're just gonna yeah, look hot. at it. Yeah, it is very hot, and I'm sure know. with yeah, it's I'm, hot because you're here. And with the eye, I don't think we will make it, but it's such a beautiful sight up here. And just to look at that plant, we have cars down there. I wish I knew how they get down there, but that's I would love to go down. We went down there when we were younger. How deep is it? I'm not sure how deep it is. You don't remember? But that's beautiful. Do you remember? Yeah, don't. Mm -hmm. It's hot out here. <laughs> Gotta protect the dog's feet. Okay, so right now I'm in Nevada. And then I'm gonna walk a couple of feet down. And then I will be in Arizona. I didn't know that. I didn't learn that until Asia pointed that out. So the Hoover Dam, named in honor of Herbert Clark Hoover, 51st, 31st president. It's like mm -hmm. take your boat out on the water they had that barricade right there so can't you there. can't go over that you know that past that point but this is beautiful it's just crazy how tall the water used to be so many years ago like my calculations are but i have to say it again these structures are just gorgeous they're obsessed yeah okay sorry Turn the music down, they like to jam and ride the music, listen to music. And enjoy the AC. And enjoy the AC. <laughs> 100 degrees outside. Ah, oh, but yes, we just finished the Hoover Dam, and oh my goodness, you guys, it was hot. However, the views were always and will be gorgeous. Um, so now we're gonna head down to the hotel, 
to get cleaned up and we're gonna go do climb vegas and then we're gonna go do area 15 so that's new to me the kids are just so they just keep talking about it so apparently it must be something good to go see and do um and then we're gonna visit a friend probably before we head on out the next day sounds right uh sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check it out when you need to go, so. Right. So that's what we're gonna do. How is this again? Well, okay. We're at, uh, what is this called? City Mall? Something like that um, on the Vegas Strip. Because we're taking the kids to climb Vegas. It's a high rope. Uh, it looks like it's actually Yeah, outside. really nice. It makes you, it seat. looks like you're outside. Um, but the aesthetic in here is really nice. But we're taking them to a high rope course. So I think they'll like it. Zai and I, we're gonna hang out because we can't, we're not gonna do it today. Well, Zai can't do it, so I'm gonna hang out with him. We were lost for a second, so we finally found it. Okay. Come here, Zai, come here. It's, it's located near the Walgreens and Rainforest Cafe. So this is the, the rope course that we were talking about, huh? No? So who's doing it? Oh, you all, all three of you all? Are you gonna go do it too? Well, you can't, son, you're too young. Yeah, so this is it, Climb Vegas. Admission is $32, my goodness, and $6 for shoes. You had to be 40 in, 48 inches tall, so I cannot do it. So you can't do it, honey. You're too short. Too short. mall and we saw 50 cents the kids was like mom mom oh my god we missed it you missed Hold it so wait a minute i was the one who saw 50 cent face to face <laughs> okay yes bernie was he walked right past me and i was saying i mean putting something in the trash can. yeah he was going to um the sugar the candy but, shop no Vegas. it's not called the candy shop it's called the sugar something it's a bar sugar factory something like that so he was there i guess he was promoting one of his drinks but it was cool to, to you know get a glimpse but right now we are at area 15. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I'm gonna turn my camera around. Sorry guys, I'm going from a G7 X to a GoPro to my phone. I just keep, I don't have time to uh, switch my memory over. So I'm trying to make it do what it do. Why are we going this way? Huh? They locked you out? Oh my gosh, look at the line. There's a secret door in there. Oh, it is? Yeah. 
Okay, we gotta find it. Find so you don't buy anything, you just gotta go look for something. You just run it. Huh? You all better get a line then. You all better get a line. So we're gonna buy some Clorox to drink. No, there's like a door and it opens up into a cold Oh really? Hopefully we have time. This place is pretty cool though. But this is called Haley's Comet, and it's just a harness, and it goes around the entire building, up and down. So it looks pretty cool. Check out this mini mart. We're not gonna call it a mega mart, huh? Get barf. Get barf? Don't do that. What is that? It's soda. Don't do it. Kind of surface. No, I'm not. Absolutely, I'm not gonna drink that. No. I'm pretty sure it tastes just like it said. Uh, just like it said. No, I'm not gonna get barf. You all get barf. I'm not get barf. Look at this, a gummy taco. What kind of no? You get barf. <laughs> what? Hi, get barf. Huh? Get barf. No. Okay. You're not gonna get barf. No. I gotta drive tomorrow. You ain't gonna tell my son what else. See my face on the floor. Ah. Soda pop. It's really simple. Really simple. And here are all the taffy candy. Taffy candies over here. Oh my goodness. I think they have one of my no, I thought they had a, one of my favorites. It's like bullseye. I thought this would be it, but it's not. I can't eat this stuff. Too much sugar, too much sugar. Pretty cool store though. So I'm just gonna let the kids get a little something something before we leave. Just to say they got it. Like 
Yep. Okay, you get one of those. You can get one of those? Yeah. And then we gotta go. Green apple, one of those. Oh, move out the way. These are my favorite growing up. Candy buttons. Mm -hmm. Jake will be here tomorrow. Yeah, well, you won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> Let me see. Old candy from the 80s. Oh wow! Yep, I remember that you gum. Bubble, bubble? Yep, you sure did. I see those in class. A lot of memories in this box. Ring pop, got a ring pop in there. You got ring pop. Yep. Okay. Ready to check out. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hey, how are you? Awesome. You yes, please. Hey, you all charge for bags as well? Okay. <laughs> We're coming from. A, I'm just asking. Hawaii charges 15 cents per bag, so I wanted yeah, to be sure. I wanted to be sure. Yeah, but my Hawaii mindset, man. Okay. Okay. All right, well, this is it for Area 15. Time to go. All right, so we are, we're checking out the hotel tonight. Um, let me talk a little bit about Area 15s. The place is nice. There's a lot of glow in the dark, fluorescent, fluorescent lighting. I mean, it was a very intricate, diff different type of place. However, it's expensive. It's like an a la carte. So the activities inside, you have to pay for them and they're not cheap. It's not like you no. have general admission to everything inside. Uh, so from the hours of 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. are for children um, and they get in for free. However, at 10 o'clock, it's 21 and up and you have to pay admission to get in. However, you still have to pay for the amenities on the, uh, on the, on the inside. So one of the things the kids wanted to do, they watched a TikTok video about this place and that's how we came about, that's how we found it. And when we went, and they wanted to go inside the Mega Mart, I showed you a little bit of what that looks like. You go inside and it's a very different stores. It's it's like you can buy bleach and drink it. It's, it's fun, but it's- That's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what it looks you like. Really, I, yeah, yeah, I can't really explain it, but that's kind of how it is, however, it's more to that. You have to find secret entrance or um, spaces that you can open and opens to, up to a whole different world. And there's a whole nother attraction beyond the Mega Mart. And that is why the admission to go inside is $55. And we told the kids, you know, I'm sorry. We just can't, you know, fit, fit the bill for that one. We didn't come here to spend that kind of money. And so, we told, you know, we just let them do the little hang gliding thing around the building so that's really it i would just say that it's a very nice place but if you want to pay for anything extra be aware that you will be spending a lot more than what you anticipated so aside from that besides that we are getting ready to check out like i mentioned it's going to take us nine hours or so to get to new mexico i think that's going to be our next resting place anthony wants to see if he can it is, it is. Okay. After New Mexico is where the one I got to figure out. Okay. Because he doesn't want to stop. He likes to keep going and I keep telling him that's not healthy. But we will play by he's ear. Drugs. <laughs> he won't let me drive, so I don't know what to tell you guys. But yeah. So, um, that's going to be the end of this vlog. I will catch you guys when we reach New Mexico. And until then, thanks for watching. Peace. Well.